listening what it is. What's going on, oh, everybody? It's your boy, Mike Rich, man. What's happening with y'all today? I hope everybody, each and every last one of y'all, is having a blessed day today. Today, dope sneaker pickup. I want to see if it's worth the hype because I promise you, you're going to know what I'm talking about because every Instagram, Twitter, social media feed that you can think of, YouTube, you see in this shoe everywhere. And I actually hit on them. Ooh. Big shout out to Leverage, LVRG Capitalist Gang Gang. You feel me? Once again, hit on a fire pair of kicks. I just want to see if the hype is worth it. I did like the shoe ever since I first saw the shoe. I liked it, but it seemed like everybody liked it and everybody wanted it. And sometimes that just happens in the sneaker community where every single person liked the shoe. I haven't really heard anybody say they didn't like it, but I want to see what they look like in hand, if it's worth the hype. I'm not even going to say the name of it. Y'all probably already know, but we're going to check them out in just a second, man. First of all, how is everybody doing? What's what are y'all looking forward to? What upcoming sneakers are you looking forward to? Let your boy Rich know. I think the biggest thing I might be looking forward to for the rest of the year, I think I already got the biggest stuff I was looking forward to. They said they were going to do a Travis Scott 7. Now, I don't, I'm really, I don't know if that's happening. I don't know if a Travis Scott 7 is happening. I remember that rumor came out a while back and I ain't heard nothing about it since then. Maybe it will, maybe it won't. But even this shoe I'm picking up today, They've been rumors about this shoe, and they even had mock-ups, but I had no idea what this, like, I just found out what this shoe looked like, like, a few weeks ago, and they shoe, and they already dropped. Uh, I'm on Manil Jordan 5s. I'm looking forward to see what they looking like. It seems like the 12s are pretty much going for retail. Right now, you can just go pick up I'm on Manil 12, so that's a good thing. That's a dope look. I can't find a, a, a 13 and a half in that shoe, in a white one. I haven't been able to, it seems like they skipped over that size or something. Could just be me. But um, other than that, man, just, just got off work. I'm still cleansed, but um, busted and disgusted with the boots, man. You feel me? So anyway, let's go into leverage and see what they got going on with these new kicks, man. Do it. Man, well, my birthday is coming up in a couple of weeks, and I'm thinking of undes and a clean pair. That's one thing about sneakers. A lot of sneakerheads undes really dope pairs that they've been holding on to on their birthday, and that's what I'm going to do. So y'all help me decide which shoes I'm going to break open on my birthday. I still haven't worn black infrared sixes yet. I was thinking about doing those, but y'all, y'all, let me know what y'all think. Yes, sir, Ski. Leverage. Yes, sir. What's going on with it? Here we are. Still got some of the little Tiffany gift bags left up there from when the Tiffany Air Force Ones dropped. And um, still got some of the. Oh, this is dope. I don't even know if I noticed that last time. Fire. Like I said, uh. I'm on near 12s on deck. I haven't seen the white ones in here though. Let's see if they got the white ones. I was gonna get my wife a pair of these right here. I still might do it, I don't know. She said she liked these when I showed them to her the other day. It's the Air Max one. Yeah, but they got like the little, this is a women's shoe. It got like the little, I'm talking about so many different design elements and uh, fabrics and uh, materials going on with these. They ain't bad. I, wanna, I probably wanna get wifey a pair. I know she'll rock these. She has the love for the animal print, that's for sure. They got like the velvet, like um, Hugh Hefner robe lace going on, you feel me? A couple of the dunks going on. I remember these dropped not too long ago. Um, yeah, the pink guys, I think these like women's and stuff too. Look, the pattern on the swoosh right there. These came out not too long ago too. These mids right here, I forgot what they called them. Y'all don't remember the name or nothing. I saw the name, it just didn't stick with me. But um, they got some decent materials on them as well. Got the vintage down mid, so y'all know they they like doing that. Also got a pair of like these safari, safari looking Air Max ones right here. I ain't mad at these either. Then we got the uh, the women's fives right here too. So they ain't had these last time I was in here. Well, they got a couple of um, restock. Well, I don't know if it's restocks, but they got the Jordan Two Lucky Greens. What's going on, bro? Yeah, man. Uh, Lucky Green Jordan 2s. You know what I'm saying? They got the Gold Bullet Air Max 97s over there. You feel me? Oh, they got dirty denims. I want, they didn't have these last time either, man. I still want this shoe, bro. I'm not, I'm picking the shoe up today, so I probably won't cop today, but I still want this shoe. Maybe on my next visit. Ever since I um, hit, hit on these on Nike Sneakers app and FedEx, 
stole my shoes, bro. Like, I, I've been really wanting this pair again, man. I love the materials, I love the vintage out, and I want to get these and kind of try to like do a custom or something, kind of like distress the denim or something like that, see what I can do, but I think eventually I end up wind up getting these again. Well, hey, they got the J's on deck though. They got Silver Bullet, Air Max 97. Down there they got the uh, True Blue Jordan 1s. Uh, they still got these Air Max right here. I don't know what sizes they got, but y'all better stop sleeping, boy. These crep guys going crazy, crazy. Man, y'all need to get these, boy. The materials is crazy. This shoe is super, super wearable, man. Oof, do not keep sleeping on these, y'all. I'm telling you, buddy. these super clean. If you like Air Max 1s, you need to get your pair because when they sell out, they're going to be gone, shout it. Got the playoff guys. Like I said, the Lucky Greens. They got the Cool Gray Sixes. And they also got the uh, these Golden Black Twelves. I forgot the name of these. Well, y'all know me forgetting the name. Man. I did know it, but I forgot it, man. But y'all know what they is, man. Penny Action on deck. Oh, look at these Air Max 97s right here. I ain't never seen this one. They make so many of these, bro. But this, this is a uh, decent little look at these right here. I ain't mad at them. Yet another pair of the 9060 uh, spaceship guys, B guy fat, but um, crazy materials though, like I always say with these. And they still have uh, Union Jordan 1 AJKO Lowe's if anybody's interested, man. They still got some of these in stock, bro. Get you some LeBron All Stars. Y'all know how I feel about those. I like them, but not unless I see them in the outlet. That's that probably be the day I cop. And of course, the ever and forever slept on OG colorway in the Cardinal Jordan 7. So fire. He just told me that this whole table right here is 50% off. This whole table. What we got? We got social status, uh, Penny 2 social status guy. I ain't even know what they came with. This little, this little heavy Monopoly piece. This thing is really, really quality. I ain't even realized it came with it. But the social status, 50% off, sold so $100. They 200 retail. These are $100, bro. And these are the sizes. 888, eight, eight, uh, eight and a half, nine, eight and a half, nine. And these are 50% off as well. 185, half off of that. Get your song. All of these, these Air Force Ones. These dub zero nothings, these uh Air Mac, I mean these uh, Air Force Ones right here with the, the print on the swoosh. Yes, sir, 50% off, 50% off, 50% off. And the, by the way, these are 150. These are 152 probably. And uh these right here, I don't see no price on them. But all of this whole table is 50% off, bro. 50% off, you feel me? 160. Sir, <laughs> yes, sir. You see the bag, ladies and gentlemen. We gonna just do a little quick little look at these guys. <laughs> Had to sing the little song. The hell is you talking about? But look at the box, boy. Yeah. Yes, sir. I'm liking the shiny finish on the box. You got this uh, muslin looking box. Got this gray jump man flight going on right there. You got your Jordan logo. You got your Nike SB logo. You also got the Air Jordan 4 SP cell, white and pine green, size 12 for the Toski. Hell is you saying? Hell is you talking about, man? Let's see what these things look like. Ew. My first time seeing them in hand. Boy. Okay, okay, okay. Yes, sir. Kids on Christmas. And there we have it. Ooh. And see, I don't know what makes this shoe. Honestly, I don't know what makes this shoe an SB, but these things are cleansed. I heard there was some thicker padding, and they did something to the midsole, and the leather or something like Man, whatever. I, I'm getting them to wear for fashion. I don't skateboard. I ain't been on a skateboard since I was a kid, bro. But, and shout out to all the skateboarders, but these is going crazy. I love that green. I don't have a whole lot of green shoes, bro. Green Nike with the uh, Nike instead of Nike Air to the SB on the back. That's that's one of the dopest features of the shoe. I like how we got that splash of uh, like varsity dark varsity red on the tongue on the flight patch with the green flight. You know what I'm saying? The waffles, you know, the Belgian waffles with the in the green as well. Green midsole. I love the fact that they got the um, the homage to the um, every time I see the um, suede like around here, it reminds me of the military force. 
and but it's a little bit darker gray on these really good materials good craftsmanship like the paint around the midsole like the fact that they got the red hit on the air bubble as well didn't notice that from the pictures on the tongue and on the air bubble got hits of red on the bottom got to hit the red with the nike and it got the gum bottom hits on the toe and the heel white going on in the in between hell as you say these are fire bro the, the upper what i think i did not know is that the upper like the midsole right here is white by the air bubble right here by the front that's white but when you get to the upper you got this gray suede but you also the up the actual leather upper is not white and i didn't realize that it's not muslin it's not sale but it's not white either though it's like this real just I don't know, nice looking color. It just, it just feel. You can tell by looking at it, it's not white, but it just feels the whole shoe out, man. It, these are dope, man. <laughs> I heard a lot of people saying stuff like shoe of the year. I wouldn't go quite that far with it, but I don't know. I'm, I'm leaning. It's so early in the year, bro. I'm leaning towards these being in the top five. They're definitely gonna be in the top ten, without saying nothing else. They're definitely in the top ten. Uh, I got the Nike SB red and they got it in the uh white right now like i said size 12. i don't see any extra laces in here no i don't come with no extra laces don't look like it but um these are dope bro i mean 10 out of 10 though without even saying anything else and to me i i will say i'm not you know i won't buy these just because of the hype but as far as the materials craftsmanship and there's a lot of stuff about the shoe that i don't even know that makes the shoe like a sb type situation collab um that make these shoes a 10 out of 10 man 10 out of 10 in my humble opinion you can call me a hype beast you can call me whatever you want to call me you just but you can't say i ain't got a pair here you talking about for the tote you feel me and what i will say is something i just noticed that the actual box is the same color as the up on the sneaker, whatever that color is. Um, it says sale. So I guess we're going with sale, you know what I'm saying? So that's pretty much the same color on the Shatterback Boys. All the sale shoes that was dropping a while ago, y'all remember that? That's pretty much the same color of the box, that same color of the up of the shoe. Never seen this shoe in mostly sale, except for that all sale Jordan one that came out a while back, y'all remember that? Um, so it's a dope look, dope looking shoe, 10 out of 10 without no height, without any height. If I saw this shoe and it was not height, just by looking at it, this shoe would be a 10 out of 10. But it's a lot of shoes that came out a few years ago, like Jordan 4s, like Nike Flight Packs, and I can't remember the name of them packs. It was real similar to this shoe that everybody kind of didn't like, you know what I'm saying? So, you know, height does move mysteriously, but the way this shoe is put together is just, it's, this is how you put a collab together. This is how you put a Jordan 4 together. It's a dope shoe. And I'm feeling them, man. Anyway, anybody who hit the on the shoe or who want the shoe, who want to go after it, comment below and tell me what y'all think about these. If you need a trash, if you think it's just way too much hype for a shoe that ain't that serious, y'all, I want all those comments below. If you want to call me a hype beast, hey, whatever. Comment all that stuff below in the, in the comment section. I appreciate y'all for watching. Hit the thumbs up, like this video, subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so already. Hit the notification bell so you can become a part of Rich Nation. Stand all the way up to them skies on them. You feel me? And keep watching my video because that's what I'm here for. Gone. Mike, rich, no hype, just kiss. Jordan, six, in my A.